everyone, in this video we will be going over fractions, decimals, and percents. So our essential question for this lesson is, how are fractions, decimals, and percents converted to solve problems and real life situations? So one more time, how are fractions, decimals, and percents converted to solve problems and real life situations? All right, so first we're gonna go over percents and how can we convert from percents to fractions and decimals. Now you guys have a couple foldables today. One of them is your practice foldable, which will go on the left side. And the other one, and this doesn't always happen this way, but I actually gave you guys a foldable that's going to go on the right side to kind of help organize all these different um, types of conversions that we're going to be going over. And so you can use that foldable for the right side as we're um, going through these notes to fill in that information. So first, let's talk about um, going from percents to fractions. And our steps, which will go in your foldable, are first that you have to rewrite the percent over 100 and then simplify. So for example, if I have 42 percent, all that I need to do is take that 42% and put it over 100. And as you can see, since both of the numbers are even, we know that it can be reduced or simplified. So from there, we just need to simplify it. And we get 21 over 50. 21 over 50. And that's it. That's all you need to do to um, convert percents to fractions. Now, what about percent to decimal? And the steps on this one are first, remove the percent sign, and then simply move the decimal two places to the left. So say that we have got 42%. One thing that I um, try to remember, if you don't see the decimal here, the decimal is actually between that last number and the percent. Okay, so there's actually a decimal there, and it basically is just saying that that's 42.0%. Okay, so that's 42.0%. So if you don't see a decimal already there, then you know the decimal is right next to that percentage. And then from there, it just says that you should move the decimal two places to the left. So you start here and you move over one and twice, and you get 0 0.42, 0.42. All right, now let's talk about converting fractions to decimals and percent. So first, let's talk about fraction to decimal. Now the fraction ones, when you're conver converting fraction to decimal percent, these are probably the ones that have your most steps. Um, the other ones with decimals and percents tend to be a little bit quicker. But when we are converting fractions to decimals or percents, it tends to be a slightly longer process. So the first thing that you want to do is to divide the numerator by the denominator. And then that's pretty much it. So say that I've got a number such as 1 eighth. I'm gonna divide the numerator by the denominator. So basically I just set up a um, division sign and the numerator goes on the inside and the denominator goes on the outside. Now eight goes into 10 one time. Then I bring that down and 10 minus eight is two. Bring down my zero and eight goes into 20 twice and eight times two is 16 which leaves me with the remainder of four, and bring down that other zero, and eight goes into 40 five times. Now in this case, it worked out pretty evenly, but you do need to make sure that when you're converting fractions to decimals that you're really paying attention to the directions, because sometimes I'll say that you need to change it um, to a decimal and round to the tenth, or maybe round to the hundredth or thousandth. So you gotta make sure that you're paying very careful attention to that. Now, fraction to percent is very similar to fraction to decimal. The first thing that you need to do is convert into a decimal by dividing the um, numerator by the denominator. So if we think back, we've already done that part. Okay, so if you remember on that previous slide, we went through this whole process, and we found that the decimal of 1 eighth was 0.125. Now, to be able to then convert that decimal to a percent, you just need to move the decimal two places to the right. And when I move that two places to the right, it is not 1.25, so I don't know why that's wrong. That's actually going to be 12.5, so ignore that one. 
and it's actually 12.5% when we move it two decimal places to the right. Okay? All right. And last, converting decimals to percents and fractions. When we are converting a decimal to a percent, we need to move the decimal two places to the right and then add the percent sign. So it's very quick. If I have 0.75, I'm gonna move it one and two places over to the right, and that simply becomes 75%, 75%. And decimal to fraction. In this one, you write the decimal over 100 if it has an integer in the hundredths place, or over 10 if only in the tens place, and then you simplify. So for example, if you look at this problem, you can see that there is a number in the hundredths place. So that means we have to put it over 100. We have to put it over 100. So that becomes 75 over 100, and then we have to remember to simplify, which gives us 3 fourths. Now, the other part of that problem said that if it has only one in the tenths place, then you need to put it over 10. So say, for instance, I had something like point six. Well, that is only in the tenths place, so that means it's only going to be over 10. And then I would have to reduce, and that would reduce to 3 fifths. So you have to make sure that you pay attention to where that decimal place is. And since this one only has one in the tenths, it's over 10. But over here, this had one in the hundredths, so it's over 100. So as you can see, these are actually really quick notes, and I'm not going to spend too much more time on that. But you have six practice problems on Edpuzzle to go through and check your answers and see how you're understanding um, these types of problems. If you have any questions, please let me know.